Hey guys, it's Linux Next here. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a new Linux scheduler that I think, and based on my research, it is trying to improve gaming on Linux on specifically mostly like handheld devices like the Steam Deck. And when I done some benchmarking today, it seemed like this scheduler did outperform the other default scheduler and the scheduler that I had been using for at least like a couple of months now. And before this video starts, definitely give it a like and definitely subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. Now, one thing that got merged into Linux kernel 6.12 the other day was the Sketch EXT or SCX. And it is a particular tool that is able to change the scheduler on the fly, basically, on Linux. And there is a bunch of different schedulers that you can try out. It says here that Sketch underscore EXT is a Linux kernel feature which enables implementing kernel thread schedulers in BPF and dynamically loading them. This repository contains various scheduler implementations and support utilities. Sketch underscore EXT enables safe and rapid iterations of scheduler implementations, thus radically widening the scope of scheduling strategies that can be experimented with and deployed, even in massive and complex production environments. So the one I'm going to show you, which is called LEVD Scheduler, this one is made for gaming. Now there's plenty of other schedulers in here that you can try and the all different types of workloads that you want to um, use on Linux maybe, either it be some type of server thing that you're doing and you want the best performance out of that. I know there's a scheduler for that. There's like a Rusty scheduler. I don't really know what specifically the Rusty scheduler does, uh, something probably to do with Rust, but the one that we are showing is LEVD and there is some documentation that you can find through the docs.rs. And it says here, this is a single user defined scheduler used within Sketch underscore EXT. SCX underscore LEVD is a BPF scheduler that implements an LEVD latency critically aware virtual deadline scheduling algorithm. While LEVD is new and still evolving, its core ideas are one, measuring how much a task is latency critical, and two, leveraging the task latency critically information in making various scheduling decisions, task deadlines, time slice, etc. As the name implies LEVD is based on the foundation of deadline scheduling. This scheduler consists of the BPF part and the Rust part. The BPF part makes all the scheduling decisions. The Rust part provides high level information, CPU topology to the BPF code, loads the BPF code and conducts other chores. Typical use case, LEVD is initially motivated for gaming workloads. It aims to improve interactivity and reduce stuttering while playing games on Linux. Hence, this scheduler's typical use case involves highly interactive applications, such as gaming, which requires high throughput and low tail latencies. Production ready? Yes, LEVD should be performant across various CPU architectures. It creates a separate scheduling domain per LLC, per core type, P or E core on Intel, big or little on ARM. So when it comes to it, LEVD, it is particularly made for gaming workloads and that's why I'm making a video on this because LEVD seems to be really important when it comes to playing games. And there was a, uh, a video that you can go watch that is at one of the, I think it was like the X11 events that happened every year or whatever. And one of the developers came up and talked about it and they showed benchmarks on the Steam Deck using LEVD and he was showing benchmarks and how uh, LEVD is improving when in certain games, like I remember he was showing Far Cry benchmark game and um, it had better 1% and 0.1% uh, lows when it came to benchmarking against the, I think it was the normal scheduler that he was benchmarking against. All right, and as we can see here, I have done a couple of benchmark tests for a couple of different games using LEVD System76 scheduler and the default CFS scheduler. Now, these benchmarks are on the flightlessmangohard.com website. Um, under this uh, emoji that you're seeing, like the text emoji right above Cyberpunk 2077, that is the category of where these benchmarks are. I'll probably link them down below in the description so you can go and look at them uh, because you can easily look at them if you want to. They're all publicly available. If we scroll down all the way down to around this area though, we can have a look at the min, max, and average FPS in Cyberpunk 2077. Now, the graphic settings was on the maximum, but no motion blur, no upscaling, and no ray tracing. So if we do look at the FPS here, we can see uh, that with LEVD in the 1% min, it is 65 FPS, CFS is 67, 
System 76 is 68. The average is 83, 83, 81. 97 percentile, 109, 110, 110. So we can see with Cyberpunk 2077, uh, it's really neck and neck, I would say. Uh, but as we can see, uh, LAPD does lose in this regard when it comes to the average FPS. Now, I have said before that LAPD tries to improve the 1% and the 0.1%, uh, and it tries to improve latency and the frame timing so that it's a nice smooth and rather responsive experience when you're playing those games but as we can see in cyberpunk 2077 it kind of loses out in the one percent and the average so this is a bit disappointing it's nothing really that crazy though as we can see it only lost two fps and we can have a look here only lost two fps and that so as we can see with the 97 percentile though it's 110 so it can reach rather high but when it becomes to the one percent and average it's a little bit worse in cyberpunk 2077 i myself use the system uh, 76 scheduler on the uh, my arch system but i have been using levd now because because I've seen LVD uh, be a little bit better in other titles. And then if we look at the next game, which is the finals, a great FPS title, I would say on Linux, it's, it's amazing to play it. I've been playing it for a while. I almost have like a thousand hours in the game, really fun game. And the graphic settings on the finals is around, I'm pretty sure high settings, no upscaling being used. I'm pretty sure it's T-A-U-U uh, is the uh, scaling method that is used in the game. And if we have a look at the FPS, we can see LEVD with 117, the 1% 1 min, 151 in the average, and 197 in the 97th percentile. Now, I have seen, uh, it seems like uh, uh, LEVD does like um, the finals a little bit, but as we can see here, uh, for some reason, uh, System76 actually does win here, uh, which is surprising. As before, uh, in my previous video of this video that I'm uploading, LEVD actually won uh, last time round. So it's a bit iffy with uh, what's going on, I guess. If I did redo the test, maybe LEVD would actually win this one, uh, or System76 would win this one. Uh, but if we do look at the 97th percentile on LEVD, it is the highest, so that, at least that's actually good when it comes to the highest FPS, it's able to reach that. But a good all-rounder, as we can see, System76 does a really good job here, so I would definitely check out uh, System76 Scheduler. I know uh, I've been using it on Arch because it's publicly available in the Arch repository. But if we go on to the next game, which is Batman Arkham Knight, and the graphic settings uh, for Batman Arkham Knight, uh, around uh, the max settings with the physics uh, thing turned on from NVIDIA, I'm pretty sure that's turned on. And we scroll all the way down to the bottom of here. We can see uh, once again, uh, System76 is doing a relatively good job when it comes to the 1% and the averages and uh, 97 percentile, 319. Uh, CFS seems to be pulling ahead here with 324 FPS in the 97 percentile. And then LEVD with 315, average of 217 and a 1% of 144. So we can see that, you know, it's kind of neck and neck again, but it seems System76 does a relatively good job when it comes to the 1% and averages, but CFS seems to pull ahead in the 97th percentile, and LED is relatively uh, an all-rounder good job of, of, of doing Batman Arkham Knight in the benchmark mode. And the next game we're looking at is Deadlock. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom of here on the min-max average, uh, we can see LED with 121 on the 1%, 138 on the average, and a 97th percentile is 159. While while system 76 is 122, 135 on the average, and 150 on the 97 percentile. So we can see here that system 76 is doing a relatively decent job, but LEVD does seem to be winning this one with 159 on the maximum. Uh, it's winning in the averages. It's not winning in the 1% min. It's coming second place in the 1% min, uh, while CF CFS is uh, you know, a little bit behind. Uh, but I think one thing to note here is that when you're running these other schedules, that are made mostly for playing video games. Uh, it's really good if you're like running other uh, other applications. The game that you're playing is going to be a higher priority when it's running versus those other applications that you're running in the background. So your experience when it comes to like the frame timing, the latency is going to be really good when you are using something like LVD or the System76 scheduler versus if you just run the stock kernel, which is CFS. 
And then if you look at the other game is Forza Horizon 5, which if we look at LEVD here, 1% means 80 FPS, average 110, 97 percentile, 155. And then system 76, uh, um, 82, average 111, 97 percentile, 153. Uh, so when we, when we look against system 76 and LEVD, we can see that like, you know, the maximum mostly is 100, uh, you know, LEVD does come out in first. Uh, but if you look at the average, we can see that CFS comes at 112. Uh, so that wins in that regard. And then when it comes to the 1% uh, mint, we can see CFS is actually doing a relatively better job also. So system 76 is scheduler though, uh, is kind of like in the middle. So really, uh, you could either choose System 76 or LEVD. All right, and the last benchmark that we are going to show today is the Division 2. And if we do scroll down here, we can see them. Uh, Division 2 is running on high setting preset with VSync turned off, so then the FPS can go um, to unlimited. And if we do look at the benchmarks here, we can see LEVD does a pretty damn good job in the averages and the 1% mints. But in the 97 percentile, it does a all right job. If we look at CFS, seems, it seems like CFS is able to do 204, so that wins in that regard. And then System76 scheduler is kind of like the in-between child. It does an all right job, but not a terrible job. So again, this comes up uh, as LEVD is really good at handling sometimes the averages and the 1% min. So then, you know, things like frame timing and frame like loss, you could say, isn't as big as the other schedulers that you're looking at. So as we can see, LEVD does do an extremely good job with gaming on Linux, I would say. I think this is the um, future scheduler that default distros can use besides other distros like Cache's OS, Pico OS that will probably add in their own patches, Alt in the Bar or Bazite will add in their own patches for their um, type of scheduler that they want to use. If I had to guess, Bazite's probably going to use LEVD, uh, but when it comes to something like Cache's OS, for example, they have a wide range of different schedulers uh, that they use. I forgot the one that is used on default, but I'm pretty sure something like Cache's OS is probably going to use either their own type of scheduler, like I'm pretty sure it's called the ball scheduler, or something completely else to try and uh, beat out LEVD and what they think is actually better. But it's really cool uh, that this is a thing now where you can load different schedulers on the fly. And I think that's the best thing about it is you can um, install a SCX package on Arch edit the main file and then you can change the scheduler uh, um, whichever one you want to use and then you just enable it as a service and then it runs and you're able to get better performance in whatever workload you're trying to do so if you guys did enjoy this video definitely give it a like i would like to know uh your thoughts about uh this scheduler and other schedulers and what you think is going to improve gaming on Linux, particularly besides schedulers, maybe there's something else I don't know about, definitely uh, leave a comment down below. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And thank you to my supporters. I'll show a screenshot of them now. Thank you very much for giving me money every single month. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.